Well, hi folks, here we are, day five. Can't remember over British Columbia at Nes Nesbitt's Island Coffee. Nice, bright, sunny day on the deck. The uh, cherry blossoms are starting to bloom. All we're missing is customers. But here's the crazy thing, we're obviously locked. We're, we've uh, shut our doors even before the orders were issued. But here's the crazy thing. We're still getting people coming by uh, wanting a coffee. And of course, we're not serving anything. We're not even take up. But I had a group of people on. These are uh, mature people. We're out for a bike ride, a half a dozen. They want to have coffee on the deck, and they'll sit on the deck. We just bring it up to them. And of course, we said we can't do that. You know, and uh, didn't uh, so much for social distancing or uh, staying at home sort of idea. On a day like today, you don't expect people to stay home, but you don't expect them to sort of congregate in crowds. And I think I know the reason, one of the reasons why. You know, our, our uh, bureaucrats and politicians are not giving us the numbers or the locations. They say due to privacy, privacy, uh, privacy laws and rules. But I don't see where the privacy is in saying we have a cluster in Campbell River, or we have a cluster in Nanaimo, or we have a few cases in Port Hardy. I think if you leveled with people, they would get the message more. But what comes out is our politicians and, and the people in charge are more managers and not leaders. And what they are doing is managing the message. That's what they're trained to do. That's what a politician does. So rather than shaking your finger and scolding people and telling everybody to assume there's something going on, I mean, people don't do things on assumptions. Uh, they do things on facts. So I think if the, everybody sort of gave their head a shake and just told people that the exact, you don't have to tell us an address or people's names or their age or what have you if you don't wish to, but let us know the location. So people in those locations will get together and quit uh, trying to get in for a coffee on the deck, they'll realize it is serious. You know, and of course, when I mention that to the powers that be, the first question they ask, if they don't have a label to put on your forehead, uh, conspiracy theorist, sexist, or racist, or whatever else they pull out in their pocket, they want to know what, they, they ask you, well, what universities did you attend? Where did you study? What degrees do you have? When I respond that I just I have a BA, of bumming around, I just bummed around and uh, met a lot of neat people through my life and studied the backs of any matchboxes when I was a kid. And for those of you too young to remember what that was, the Eddie Matchbox Company at one time used to, on their two cent matchboxes, used to have facts, figures for, from history, from geography, from science on the back, intriguing little, little uh, things that you could put on a one, one and a half by one inch matchbox. So I got my BA, I could say, bumming around doing that and picked up a lot of knowledge. Uh, I then transferred that into, a, into another degree, a TTFIO. And that, that postgraduate degree does not, never gives you a, a final certificate or diploma. Because TTFIO is called trying to figure it out. And it's a strange thing, you know, once you think you have it figured out, and let me tell you, I've got 70 plus years on the planet, so I had some time trying to figure it out. But what I've learned, as soon as you think you figured it out, you get caught in a landslide and you're going, oh, damn, you're at the bottom of the hill, starting all over again, because what you thought you had figured out just really wasn't what it was. And I think that's where we're at today with, with this playing tag with the Wuhan, is that, um, we're, everybody's trying to figure it out. And I think we're short of supplies. I think we're short of chemicals to do testing. And we're just short of everything. That's because everybody assumed, nobody assumed we would have something like this happen to us. So you can't base, base planning and what have you on assumptions. You've got to really get serious, serious, some serious thought to it. 
then maybe get business people involved because they don't assume anything. You, your bottom line is your bottom line and you've got to sort of go with it. Or get the business attitude. Let's really get serious about this. Call the spade a spade and let people know what's really going on. I'm not going to go into numbers or anything because those are all available on various websites now and they're not so, they're sort of not up to date uh, either. You know, and it's obviously there, there's a big backlog. But I think if they said, okay, Campbell River, you have 10 cases, that would get people's attention like right now. But to say, okay, Campbell River, you have to assume there's the virus in your area. Wipe off the gas pump before you get gas, stay home, do and all the things. Don't, uh, don't touch your face, keep your hands clapped. Uh, don't wear a mask because they don't really work. Of course, we know they work, but we just don't have any. And the ones we have should be kept for the medical profession. And I know they were, there were a couple of doctors uh, have uh, basically sort of said the same thing. We should let people know. Don't manage the information. Disseminate. Give, the, give up the information. And uh, you'll find a big difference. The medical staff and people would know what's going on. And we as people would know what's going on. And I think maybe that's why politicians and bureaucrats don't want to do that. Because then they, 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 they would realize how smart people really are. And we wouldn't need some people in secluded offices telling us what to do. We would just normally do it. Uh, that's about it for now. Uh, well, I'll put a link on the bottom again to our uh, numbers site so you can go and see the official, the official page. And of course, most of you are probably watching uh, television. It's 24-7 now with the, with the virus. It's uh, uh, that sort of rolling along. And uh, take care. And uh, just keep, keep ahead of that playing tag with Wuhan. Don't get caught. Bye for now.